Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Okay, we're here with Dr. Tom Wolf here in Saskatoon, and we are talking spring. Um, most specifically, today we're talking uh, labels on products. Um, let's talk a little bit about what is currently on a label, and then that's going to lead into a discussion on what's not on that label. Yeah, currently labels are about 10 to 20 page documents and they contain a lot of information, but really only a few pieces that are directly related to the application of the spray. So obviously uh, uh, the, the rate of product is on there, obviously the, the pests controlled are on there, um, there's precautionary statements on there, but people want to know how do I apply this stuff, uh, what water volume should I use, and that is indeed on there, but it goes further than that. Uh, we need to know what spray quality is appropriate for a particular water volume. We need to know if there's a special boom height or travel speed that is limiting. We want to know uh, whether there's a water quality issue with this, uh, this product. Those are some typical application questions that concern the, the, the applicator. And uh, the label is not the place to find the answer to those questions. So maybe uh, let's explore a little bit of, of why aren't some of the, these things on the label. Well, the information isn't on labels uh, for a few very good reasons. One of them is that it's a very complicated issue, and uh, it's difficult sometimes to unravel those uh, mysteries in a, in, a, in a few sentences that might be uh, conducive to a label. Um, but there's other reasons. Uh, first of all, it's also not a required uh, piece of information by the regulators, the PMRA. And, of course, if the company were to provide that information, it would cost money, and uh, that is uh, an issue that they have to grapple with budget-wise. Um, so I guess, uh, I guess the, the producers uh, ought to be asking the company, um, you know, if I use a low water volume, can I still use a low drift nozzle? Or I've heard of these double nozzles, are they recommended for this herbicide? I'd like to use them for other products and can I keep them on? Uh, some people might say, uh, you know, I've got a, a boom height uh, controller on my sprayer uh, and it, uh, it allows me to go to a lower boom height. Can I do this with this herbicide or this fungicide? Should I be doing this? What about sensitivity to water quality? What can I do about water quality? There are certain adjuvants. Those issues are, are typically not discussed at the label level, but they're questions that farmers legitimately ask uh, to ensure that they do a good job. Who should they be asking? Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, the, the people they buy the material from, and I think the onus is then on the, the manufacturer to, to make sure that, that that information is somehow provided, either by providing it themselves or by contracting it to uh, someone who can. All right, so without, uh, or, or very soon, the, uh, the Western Canadian farmer, and in fact the Canadian farmer in general, is no longer going to have a public program researching some of these options for them. Um, where, where do you see uh, this information coming from going forward? Or how might things either be packaged or, or sent, um, how might that change going forward? That's a really good question. You know, a lot of the, the answers are, can still be developed by uh, other research programs. It's just that they don't exist in Canada. Uh, so we will be going to the US, maybe to Europe, maybe other places, Australia, that have similar kind of application scenarios to us for the answer. And that may not always be the right thing because we have unique situations. We obviously have unique weather. We have unique uh, weed situations, soil types, and, and so forth. We have unique pieces of equipment and agronomic practices. And a lot of our application uh, information will depend to some degree on those. So uh, I would say relying on, on other countries uh, to, uh, to get this information is a little bit risky. It may not apply directly to our, to our situation here. Um, I don't see uh, a, a new public program arising out of the ashes uh, very quickly in this country. I think we have to be uh, mindful of that. Uh, so we will need to see the private sector pick more of this up. And it's really about, uh, about giving the client the paying client value for their investment, and that may be more information. Okay, great. Thanks so much.